Rebirth and new beginnings of communities, cultures, and heritage is often precipitated and heralded by creative works of art. My name is Richard George. I am the president of Vancouver Native Housing Society. The mural behind me is the largest in Western Canada. A uniquely urban Aboriginal lens on the downtown east side here in Vancouver, depicting the challenges of the past and the hopes and possibilities of the future for this community. The Raven Dancer, dressed in a traditional button blanket, holds the looking forward, looking back symbol, signifying the importance of the past when viewing the present and contemplating the future. Looking through the eye of the raven, the light of day is cast upon what, for many on Vancouver Seaside, is a dark and forbidding place. Scenes depicting the devastation of the residential school system, street protests for affordable housing, as well as notoriously inadequate and poorly maintained housing, are prominent. Yet the raven sees past the troubles of this and earlier times, resting his glance on the Coast Salish canoe reminding us of the rich and powerful traditions and culture of the West Coast Aboriginal people. Sailor serpents and patterned braids frame the mural while animal spirits travel along the hem of the raven's blanket. This button blanket enfolds both the terror of the residential school system as well as the strength and courage of those who stand up and speak for justice. The hummingbird, a traditional symbol of hope and healing, flies above the Vancouver cityscape towards the lake. The artists who translated the community vision into this beautiful work represent many of the Aboriginal people and nations that comprise the urban Aboriginal landscape. Giving voice to the strong and capable people who inhabited this land for generations beyond count and who now add to the vibrancy of our fair city. And so the idea was tossed around to paint this street scene onto the side of the building. And uh, I wasn't really comfortable with that uh, situation from the beginning, but um, in seeing the, the canvas that this building offered, I thought, given we're an Aboriginal organization and the neighborhood has a large Aboriginal community, I thought uh, something uh, depicting Aboriginal life and Aboriginal culture would be more appropriate. So I went to Christina Copeland at the city, their Great Beginnings Project, and as soon as I said it, she was all over it and was promoting it right from the beginning. It's an area that has received a lot of bad press lately. I guess you could say a marginalized area, but it is an area with a lot of very talented, very creative, very vital people. Being in the community for 25 years, we know a lot of the local artists. Some of them live in our buildings. So we approached uh, some that we knew. We also broadcasted out in the community that we would be having design sessions to create this mural, and we were looking for Aboriginal artists to participate and be part of the project. And it's, uh, it's nothing more exciting than the blank canvas of an 8,000 square foot wall. Jerry Whitehead and I are really pleased to be a part of this spearheading this uh, as uh, artist coordinators uh, for this really ambitious project. My name is Richard Tatro, and I am a painter and printmaker and muralist, working for the last 30 years in the east side of Vancouver. Originally, I'm from White Rock, schooled here and in New York, inspired by uh, muralism and printmaking from around the world. The original concept that they had for painting of and enlarging a photograph onto the wall Christina thought that wasn't the way to go. She talked to Dave Eddy and they agreed that they would hire me on and that it would be a more of a collaborative piece that would reflect the, some of the kind of creative and cultural and dynamic directions of the urban Aboriginal community here. Uh, Jerry Whitehead. I'm uh, originally from Saskatchewan. I'm a Plains Cree. And uh, I did all my schooling in Saskatchewan University of Regina, then I went to uh, Nova Scotia and got a Bachelor of Fine Art degree from there. And back in 1987, I graduated and uh, from there I moved back out this way, eventually settling here for the last 20 years, painting full time and whatever jobs I can get with my art, I, I do. 
I've been doing miracles now for quite a while, and I've I've worked collaboratively, especially with Richard. To date, this is the largest one we've worked on together, but it's been such a great experience, you know, just because there's a whole wide range of artists from different backgrounds and our own ideas coming together, different ages, you know, it, there's a different perspective on life from each person, right? And uh, this is how it is on the east side. There's people from all over the country here. And it reflects, you know, that it's all put inside the mirror. It's like the melting pot of downtown. My name is Heisla Collins, and I'm born and raised in Vancouver, BC. Uh, I am Chimshan Celtic. I have a Bachelor of Fine Arts from Emily Carr, as well as being somewhat of a practicing artist for about 18 years. I describe my work as Indigenous Expressionist. I study Indigenous traditions from all around the world, looking at contemporary Aboriginal art as well as work that's being produced now. Well, I haven't done a mural for 15 years, so I've got a lot of experience in terms of my artistic practice on my own, but I've never worked at this scale before. So, I mean, like, you take an image and it's like this small on, on the maquette, and it's that big uh, being blown up on the mural. It's, it's been very inspiring. I've worked with a bunch of amazing artists who have taught me a lot about painting, and I've been able to put in my own creativity as well. So it's been a very good experience. I'm Sharifa Marsden, and I'm from Skugog Island First Nation, which is in Ontario. I'm Anishinaabe, and I've lived in Vancouver for the last 12 years. I started painting when I was 13. My mom's an artist, so I used to um, sit up late at night and watch her paint. Then I got to um, college and I started studying fine arts. The purpose of the mural is to brighten up the neighborhood, bring some life, bring some joy, and represent different First Nations in Canada, which are in Vancouver. It's like a highlight in the community. It's bringing some positivity in. This is just one way to celebrate this, the urban native culture. Yeah. My name is Richard Shorty. I come from Whitehorse, Yukon. I moved down here in 1978. I've lived in the East End for probably about 28 years. I've been painting since 19, 1980, 79, 1980 designing, West Coast Native Designing. Right now I've been just painting every day for the last three weeks now. Eh? It's, uh, it's, it's a fun job. Eh? I do it again if someone asks me to do it again now. And there's always people that come by and yell up at us and say we're doing a really good job. So hopefully it gives them incentive to stop what they're doing downtown and give their life a little shake to uh, start doing other stuff that other than what they're doing. You know, there are, there are many stereotypes about the downtown east side, and most of them are wrong. People who live here, people who know this community, people who love this community, know that one of the things about this community is the unbelievable amount of creativity and talent that exists in this neighborhood. And to see it now manifested again in this amazing mural that tells a story, and to feel the strength of the community come from this wall is really quite something. It embraces the past, reveals what it is today. The many, many people from all over the world, from all walks of life, have somehow come to this community, and this is their home. This is the land that they live in now. Through the Eye of the Raven represents the artistic soul of the Aboriginal community and the regenerative power of art. This mural project has had unforeseen benefits. When we were planning the mural unveiling ceremony, we decided to use the workshop area as a gallery space for the mural artists to display some of their work. It proved to be such a success that we decided to keep the space open 
and now the Raven's Eye Studio is used as a working artist studio gallery where Aboriginal artists work and present their ongoing artistic creations. Please visit us at urbanaboriginal.org. Clarko, Gaelic Esla, Masse Cho, Miigwech.